Every year, more than 9 million people flock to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee to enjoy the Smoky Mountain scenery, amusement parks like Dollywood, and tourist activities like the Titanic Museum and Ripley's Believe It or Not. We visited this tourist hub several times in the past, and each time we've been faced with that age-old question. What's for dinner? This is a doozy of a question when we're at home. But when we've just driven eight hours to a city with thousands upon thousands of tourists just like us, the decision becomes even harder. So on this trip to Pigeon Forge, we picked a classic for our first dinner in town, Mel's Diner. Mel's opened in 1993 and since then has been family owned and operated and serving up a classic 50s diner experience. Their menu is just as classic as their atmosphere, so everyone is sure to find something they'll enjoy. We went with the classic BLT, patty melt, and cheese fries. that homemade chocolate shake to finish it off. We just got out of Mel's Diner in Pigeon Forge. Woo! Mel's. Chef's kiss. Fantastic. It was great. The menu is adorable. So, a little happy days going on. A little 50s. I had the Betty Davis. Quite a surprise. BLT. I had the patty melt, but I can't remember whose patty melt it was. <gasps> I know oh, you. Shame on you. Sorry about that. And we had, um, wasn't it Potsy's? Whatever. Cheese, Cheese and, bacon. and bacon fries. So if you know, if you watched Happy Days, so you know Potsy. And then, um, of course, Betty Davis. And then chocolate milkshake. It was amazing. All the food that I saw go by looked so incredible. Good. They're open till midnight. I guess they open up at seven for breakfast. So they morning. have a breakfast all day. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, they serve their whole menu all day. Oh, they have a breakfast special yeah. starting at seven. Yep. It was like five dollars. And, and she and listed change. off all the food that was you were gonna get. Yeah, it was like two scrambled eggs, some bacon or, or sausage, and two pancakes. Yeah. So make sure you check that out when you come. Um, and make sure you don't get here when you're starving to death. Because you're going to have to wait. Because there's a line to get in. Oh, yeah. Because people love Mel's. Because once you get in there and you place your order, man, it was like this fast. I mean, Our it was appetizer, fast. Our appetizer came out. Two seconds later, the food came out. I mean, it was it was fast. And they were having big parties, like big groups. Um, and our waitress, man, she was... Who was on top talking. of it. So, and it's a family-owned um, restaurant, which we love that. Yes. So it's not a chain um, because when you do come to the area, you're going to see lots of diners. Um, this one's Mel's and you're going to put the link to them below. Yes, so you'll be able to find it. It's next to Publix. Yeah. It's in the middle of all the Pigeon Forge action. Yep. So we kept passing it when we were here in October. And we had never, we never came. And then on this trip, we we're like, we're going to go to Mel's this time. Yeah. So it was great. And that, again, the food was, the bacon was the bomb. And I don't even like bacon, people. And she liked that the bacon cheese fries. And she was like, the oh. bacon on this is really good. Those were so good. You have to get those. So I'm going to give it a 10. I'm giving it a 10 because it was great food, friendly, crazy friendly people. And it was just an enjoyable experience. I mean, there's so much to look at when you're in there. Complete classic diner vibe. Yeah, it was wonderful. Um, so, yeah. So, Pigeon Forge, Mel's Diner. 
Tell them Johnny and Jenny B sent you. Yes, please tell them that we sent you. Because we want them to know. Okay, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Because it doesn't cost you nothing, nothing to hit, hit that button. button. Alright y'all, we will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you so much to Mel's Dinah for sponsoring this video. We had a great time and can't wait to come back again.